When I think of the past, I remember my second home, Lebanon. I spent 40 years of my life there, my childhood, my youth. Palestine I only know as a distant memory. The shores of Denmark are a far cry from Hussein Juma's real homeland. I know this because Hussein is my father. And this is the story of his first journey back home. Born in Palestine, he now lives in Denmark with most of my family. At 60, he enjoys the simple pleasures, like a good meal and spending time with the people he loves. But time was not always on Hussein's side. It all began in 1948. Hussein was a newborn when the new state of Israel was created. Amid the chaos, three quarters of a million Palestinians were expelled from their homes by what would become the Israeli army. My father was among them. He wound up in a refugee camp in Lebanon. But for men of his generation, the stigma of having been expelled from their homeland led to trouble over time. I had to leave Lebanon at all costs. My life was in danger. I was a known figure in the Palestinian resistance and people were watching me. Only your mother knew I was leaving the night I was smuggled out. I wouldn't see you again for almost a year, always worrying for your safety. More than 25,000 Palestinians fled Lebanon during the civil war in the 1980s. Many, like my father, made it to Denmark where they started a new life once again. Denmark has given us a lot. Most important, it gave us security. We discovered democracy and personal freedom. We got a house, an education for our children. Had we stayed back in Lebanon, we could forget about all that. Denmark may be home, but it can't replace the memories of the past. It can't replace identity. So on this, the eve of his journey back to what will always be his Palestine, he reflects. I'm very excited to see my family in Lebanon. Go back to the places and relive the memories of the years we lived there. But I'm also longing to see Palestine, to touch the soil, see where my family once lived, the place I was born. All these things make me anxious. A million questions run through my mind.